Hey, I'm so glad that you joined me to solve some two-step equations. Now, if you missed my video on one-step equations, take a look at the video link in the description below. Let's go ahead and dive in with this example. So we wanna go ahead and solve for x, and we're gonna solve for x in two steps. Our goal, though, is to get x all by itself on one side of the equation, everything else on the other side of that equation. We're gonna start with step number one, and that's to add and subtract to get our x terms on one side and our numbers on the other. In this particular equation, the x's are already on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and say that we want all the x terms on the left and all of those numbers on the right. Well, the two x is my x term, it can stay where it is, but I've got the three and the 11 as the numbers, so I need to move that three to the other side. So let me go ahead and write what we've got and do that work. So I've got 2x plus 3 is equal to 11. To move the 3 to the other side, I need to undo it. It's being added, so I'm going to subtract that. And I'm going to keep this guy balanced. Whatever I do to one side, I've got to do to the other. So let me subtract a 3 from the other side as well. I'm going to do the math here. The 2x has nothing to combine with, so the 2x just comes down. 3 minus 3 is 0, so those are gone. And on the other side of the equals, I've got 11 minus 3, and 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. We are ready for the next step. Our second step is to multiply or divide to isolate that x. Well, right now, I've got 2 multiplied times this x. To get it all by itself, I want to divide. So I'm going to divide with a fraction bar. So I want to do 2x divided by 2. And I've got to do that on the other side, too, to keep this guy balanced. So I've got 8 divided by 2. Now, on the left-hand side, I can go ahead and cancel those 2s. And I get just my x left. So x is equal to 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 4. Now, you can plug 4 back up into your original equation to make sure it works. And sure enough, 2 times 4 plus 3 is equal to 11. Here comes our next one. I again want to get x all by itself, starting with getting the x terms on one side and the numbers on the other. That is our step number one. The 3x again is on the left, so let's go ahead and put numbers on the right-hand side and the x terms on the left-hand side. That means that just that 5 needs to move to the other side. So I've got my 3x minus 5 is equal to 4. And I want to add that 5 to undo it, to move it to the other side. But whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. Let's go ahead and do the math here. Negative 5 plus 5 is equal to 0. So that's no longer on the left. And I only have the 3x on the left. On the other side of the equal sign, I've got 4 plus 5, which is equal to 9. So we're ready for step number 2, which is to multiply or divide to get x all by itself. Now right now I've got 3 times x, so I'm going to divide by a 3 on both sides. So 9 divided by 3 as well. I can cancel those 3's and I get just x on the left. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3 and I've got my solution x equals 3. So here's another one where I want to solve for x. My first step is to still get x terms on one side and numbers on the other, but notice that x is on the right-hand side. So let's swap the order this time and let's get numbers on the left and x terms on the right. So that means that I really want to add that 3 to undo that. So let's go ahead and add a 3 to both sides, so plus 3 and plus 3. 3. I end up with 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. On the other side, I've got x divided by 5, or x over 5, and then that 3 and the minus 3 are equal to 0. And we're ready for our second step. 
Our second step is to multiply or divide, but this time I've got x divided by five. So I'm gonna multiply to undo that division by five. And I'm gonna multiply by five, which you could think of as a five over one to keep everything lined up. I better do that on the other side as well. So times a five or a five over one on the other side. Now on the side where my x is, I can cancel those fives. Five divided by five is equal to one. And I get an x on the right hand side. On the left hand side, I've got five times five, which is equal to 25. Remember, you can always take this and put it back up in that original equation to make sure it makes your equation true. You guys did great with two-step equations. Up next, let's put everything together and do some multi-step equations. Check out my video here, and thanks so much for watching.